Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn shapes in After Effects. Hi friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. So to creating a shape, you can go to layer and there is a new and from new you can select a shape layer. Okay, so like this you can create a shape or else you can just right click on your timeline panel and here same you can see new and create a shape layer. Okay guys, so now we have two shape layer. I am just deleting the first one. Okay, so now creating a shape layer, you have to go to the tool panel and here you can see a different shape, rectangle tool, rounded rectangle tool, ellipse tool, polygon tool and star tool. This all shape you can create with a, this all shape you can create in a shape layer. Okay, so for now I am just creating a rectangle tool. So. I am creating this rectangle tool okay so now we are going to see the property inside this rectangle tool so there are rectangle path stroke fill and transform so first of all we are going to see in this tool panel there is some property there is a fill now this fill color is for filling this shape so just click on this color and from here you can add any color to this shape so for now I am just uh, click on this color and press ok now next is stroke now you can also add the stroke color okay for now i'm just adding a black color or else a white color and after that you can also increase or decrease the stroke width so for now i'm just putting a 20 okay beside this you can see the add now what is this there are different different animations over here or properties you can say for now I am just go one by one uh, first of all fill to add a fill okay which you are already doing by over here now next is stroke is the same as the stroke you are applying from here after that is a gradient fill now if you want to fill by a gradient then just click here and here in the property you can see a different different properties inside this gradient fill so just added gradient to add a different color so right now we have white and black just click here and you can add a different color for now i'm just adding a red and this side i am adding a yellow so as you can see now i have grading okay you can also start or end point of this grade point so make it look better okay so this all you have to go one by one and practice by yourself because only with the practice you can learn this just increase the decrease and value and check what happened after that so guys next is uh, we can say gradient stroke uh, merge path this all you have to go one by one and check it by yourself because only by the practice you can learn all this these are all simple just creating a trim path so as you can see in the trim path you can trim this path see by increasing this value you can trim this part to this start and end now if i want to this part first of all i am just uh, of this uh, fill and uh, as you can see now start and end point like this after there is a offset now as you can see offset okay you can create a very beautiful animation with that which we are going to see in our next video where we can learn uh, animation with keyframes so for now you just do a practice with this all a shape layers okay so i'm just deleting this trim path uh, after that uh, there is an twist to twisting the shape as this name say twist okay so guys as you can see i can twist this shape so just go through one by one and practice by yourself and you can see a beautiful animation over here okay now in detail we are going to see the properties inside this shape layer so first of all i am going inside this rectangle one okay and here you can see a stroke which we are already applying from this top side you can also change your shape color from here okay you can also apply the color from this pick tool now this is a pick color if i want uh, uh, as I can say he this this color I want okay just click here so as you can see it automatically apply to our stroke okay now I want the white color is this color okay so just click over this and this stroke color applied 
like this next is opacity you can also apply the opacity to this shape I'm just increasing so as you can see my shape is opaque okay now is the stroke width which we are already applying from here you can also change your stroke width from here okay so I'm just make it zoom so you can watch clearly now the now the next is line cap okay there is a boot cap a round cap and projecting cap now if I'm doing a boot cap okay and uh, line cap now how this applying this boot cap and line cap for that you need to create a shape with a pen tool so for now I'm just creating one shape layer and with that I'm just creating one random shape like this okay I'm decreasing the opacity of this shape if I am zoom this shape and now I'm showing you the property of this inside this shape one okay stroke so what is this boot cap line cap boot cap now as you can see if I'm changing to round cap so see this ending and starting of this shape it will be changing the boot cap to round cap okay now next is line join the join between these two vortex so guys I am showing you right now it is meter join now I'm changing to round join so as you can zoom it and see as you can see a minor changes okay I'm just increasing the stroke width so you can have an idea see here you can see a changes meter join round join and bevel join okay so it will just giving a smooth curve at the not a sharp edge see right now it is a sharp if I'm changes to bevel join now it is giving a smooth turn okay now we can also apply a dotted line over here so how you can do it for now I'm just deleting this shape now again back to our original shape okay for now I'm just changing the shape color and uh, inside this shape you can see a dashish now you can add a dash over here as you can see now my rectangle become a dotted dash dash line you can just increase your dashes like this or you can decrease your dashes now offset you can create a very beautiful animation with that okay these all properties you can use in our using your project uh, as a requirement okay uh, so from where you can use if there's you if you want to show some path is going here to somewhere else for example I want to show I'm just creating one shape layer and here I'm just showing one path which is starting from here okay and going over here so what I am doing first of all I am making dash okay just check how it is look okay I'm making dash and with the offset as you can see it will look like my path is going from right to left so like this you can create a very beautiful animation you can also apply a keyframes which we are going to learn in our next video okay for now I'm just delete this shape so as you can see we are adding a dotted line over here now there is also an individual property now you, as you can see there are two property properties of the shape layer which is called a transform where you can see a different different properties okay opacity and all that and you can also have a particular property of this rectangle tool inside this rectangle tool you can see their transform property too okay see transform rectangle property why it is like that because in the shape layer you can have more than one shape in, inside this shape layer so all shape have a different different individual properties so for example right now I'm just make it normal and I'm creating one more shape okay I'm creating ellipse inside this rectangle so just uh, selection tool and make it on center okay so guys as you can see there is an ellipse added inside this tool but they are creating a new shape I want uh, uh, this ellipse shape inside this rectangle so what I am doing I select this shape layer and now creating the shape 
so guys as you can see inside this shape layer now i have two shape ellipse and rectangle so now this ellipse have a different property same as a rectangle i'm just changing the color of this shape i can also added a dash line for make it dotted okay you can also change a stroke as well as uh, see you can also change the stroke width and different different property now this shape also have that transform property you can also increase or decrease opacity as well as you can also change anything you want okay so this is the shape layer now in the next video we are going to learn animation with keyframes where we are creating some different different shapes and show you how you can animate that shape or how you can animate a footage or elements in adobe after effects so thank you guys see you in the next video with animation with keyframes Thank you.